too, because one of these teams wants the opportunity for that third win so they can move on to day three. Let's go. All right, let's have a look at the Salsa lineup as we get in here back onto Islands of Ice. Come on, here we go. Looks to all... me like uh, it's a reversed spawn, by the way. Oops. Uh, yeah, Salsa is the alpha the spawn. One. That's okay, Sal Salsa is the alpha spawn. Yeah. All right, so all America for the battleships, Montana and Ohio looking at De Double Des Moines, Moscow and Venezia for the cruiser lineup. Marceau, Daring, and Zath. It's a Z-52 for I the Destroyers. Talk to me about yep. the CAG lineup. So CAG 2 bringing Yamato, Ohio, Stalingrad, Salem, Des Moines, and Nevsky. And then they're choosing three Destroyers as well, Double Daring and a Shimakaze which is rocking 12 kilometer torpedoes. All right, then. Early deployment. Zephyr 2 is headed to B. Kind of what you'd expect on this map, I think. Marceau looks like he's going to mm. take a bit of the inside track. I presume he's going to race to C. Daring headed over to A. Looks like we're going to have both Darings at A. Another Daring in the middle from CAG, and the Shimakaze is headed to C. I find that an odd choice, Zath. Hmm. Why almost, is that an odd choice for you, sir? If it were me, I might consider the Shimakaze more on the A side. The torpedo angles are better over there in general. Granted, he's only running the 12s. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, when your torpedoes run three, the length of three full squares, which they do on this map. This is a 42 by 42 uh -huh. map. So each square is mm -hmm. a little over four kilometers in size. Um, you want to be able to you know, maximize the range. The A cap would give him some slightly better torpedo angles, I think. But I could be full of crap. We'll see. Maybe they can make it work. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Look, I'm the beauty yeah. of doing what we do, Zath. We get to we get to commentate, but we don't have to play. So you know, <laughs> yeah, we just second guess everything. We and just make second it guess everything. Good. That's that's literally so, our job, right? So the the one thing about a Shimakaze is it's really good as a kiting away destroyer. And if you look at the Salem with its super heel, and you can already see he's going into a kite away position as well. Hmm. So. I think that CAG2 is looking at C as we're going to let them take C, but we're going to hurt them if they try to push beyond it. Um, meanwhile, you know, they've got Stalingrad covering middle, which you'd expect. And then they've mm -hmm. got the Ohio making revolutions for A with if two you, cruisers supporting the destroyer at A. If the plan is to use the Shimakaze as like a kiting sort of thing, then that then the having mm -hmm. on the C flank makes total sense because nobody yeah. wants to push quickly into a shimikaze dumping torpedoes in their face like no one's excited about that right now we do have possibility for contact soon.tm with the z52 at b omni has come into the cap but he's just outside of hydro range from that island mm -hmm. it's so a good I'm, it's I'm good positioning by that. omni i don't even think leviathan's mm -hmm. got his hydro up yet i'm not seeing the pulses no. No, and quite frankly, there's no need for him to put it up this early. True. Uh, because you want to wait a little bit longer in case the destroyer is going to go deeper into the cap, then you could surprise it. But this is King of the Sea. This is CAG. You're probably expecting this player to be uh, not playing deep. Um, this is where sometimes you kind of can possibly out big brain the big brain yourself. <laughs> right. Yeti's Des Moines pushing hard to snuggle up to an island, taking a good solid hit there. All kinds of torpedoes in his that face. Bar. Yep. Oh, got to dodge a pretty good looking Shimakaze Savo, but he's got a nice gap through there. It's a shame that Marceau doesn't have smoke. We could really use that to make this turn. Dialgius' mm -hmm. Yamato is probably going to take another shot at him as he tries to make this turn. Yep. But he already turned away and yep. he, he got hit. Oh, There's the shot. Here Let's comes see. the shot. Now, yet he sees it, already trying to get narrow again. Takes another decent hit, but not a catastrophic one. Oh, more shells coming in from the other battleship. That's the Ohio. That's the Ohio. The Ohio taking shots at 24 kilometers, not coming yep. up with anything there. Yet he's going to yep. make this turn and sneak in behind this island. Yep, so that's, I mean, that's, that's what CAG was expecting, right? CAG mm -hmm. was expecting that Salsa was going to take the sea cap. That's fine. Uh, but what you need to do then is you need to make sure that you can take the A cap and the B cap. CAG just flipped A. And so CAG needs to make sure that Salsa doesn't push through C. Well, the Salsa daring over there, 
the salsa daring over here that's basilisk made a bit of an error he he kind of was on the top end of the cap he turned to get out after they had him radar and then he beached himself on this little rock that he's hiding behind now so he had to reverse mm -hmm. out of it get himself reoriented took a little more extra damage that he probably wouldn't have otherwise taken but you know daring is a pretty resilient destroyer with that heal he'll be okay for now mm -hmm. i'm a little surprised that fernie's des moines is not yet back into the cap at least slowing down those points i mean yeah, Solstice's got about a 60-point lead, but all he has to do is back up about 10 to 15 meters, and uh, he's doing it now. There we go. He'll mm -hmm. at least be sitting on that cap and denying those points to CAG. So at this point, we only have Salsa taking up points on the, on the count of their C cap. Indeed. Five minutes gone, only one team ticking up points, and that is Salsa. They have about, I don't know, about an 80-ish point lead and slowly growing. Now, at this point, it's not it's not a big deal, but if you're CAG, you're thinking we, we are going to have to make a play someplace, and look at it, it's starting to happen at CCAP. Yeah, I was um, I was wondering a little bit about QQ Moore's daring's position. He looked like he was starting to get maybe a little aggressive, but I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I think the play seems to be coming at C, where they were, they're pushing Shimakaze, that's Horizon, and uh, for, mm -hmm. uh, is that Forgotten Liquid? Yeah, his Salem yep. now going to the cap. Radar from Forgotten going up to spot Yeti's Des Moines, but who yep. really have shells on him? The Ohio, it's not maybe? So much, it's not so much that. It's about to get. It's about getting the positioning of that Des Moines. Where is that Des Moines? Yeah, and that is, how, how is he angled? Is he pointed where he is. east or west? Mm -hmm. And there's the counter radar from Yeti, yeah, uh, went, which uh, is... Hmm. Yeah, they were looking to confirm his position, right? Yep. Montana could shoot him, but he's shooting at somebody else. Looks like H.E. Salvo coming in on Stalingrad in the middle. Venezia took a pot shot at Forgotten Liquid, didn't come up with anything, as now Ohio shells from across the map, I think, again, coming for Yeti. Nothing doing. Mm -hmm. Now, you were talking about QQ Moore's position in the daring, and I think what they were trying to do was get him in a position with, where you can have two destroyers that could possibly force out that Z-52. Um, I'm sure that they, at this point, have triangulated, because both of them most likely have radio location, mm. the exact position of that Z-52. And as you can see, the Z-52 is realizing his position is probably tenuous. He is not capping anything. He's smoking. So that just confirms and, his location. Yep. And they've got they've got QQ now locked up on the on the Z fifty two hydro. They cannot yep. see Omni on the other or Omni, I should say, on the other side of the cap. Mm-hmm. Leviathan moved up. He knows so Leviathan, he sunk one torpedo into the Ohio. I presume he got a flood, which is why he's decided to smoke and move up and try to get the fire. But right now his no. team's doing a really good job of beating up the daring that he's got lit. But he's lit now. How? Stalingrad, Stalingrad radar. radar. Stalingrad's Stalingrad fishing radar. him out of that smoke, and now he's getting punished, punished for his position. Well, and look at Omni coming around the back door. Omni's coming around because there's really no... He's very alone. Leviathan has been kind of left out here by himself, um, by, mm -hmm. the, you know, by his team, which I'm... I could wish the Moscow position is a little better, but with the Ohio where it is, I sort of understand why. And they do use... And that Z-52 Hydro to claim the first kill. Brilliant. That's what Z-52 is. It's a, it's a team support destroyer, but it's dependent on that team to use that tool uh, as best as possible. Yep. So on the oh, back why of... Why would you pull forward? Oh, why did you take a torpedo? Leviathan, no for that. Leviathan takes a last second daring torpedo that cuts another five or 6,000 HP off his health. He didn't, couldn't afford to give up, but does anyway. He was get, he got That's a little greedy oof. there. He wanted torpedoes on the Ohio. Mm -hmm. Now something else just happened over at the A cap C cap Zaf. The yep. Marceau yep. Yep. charging around the corner, killing the Salem yep. with his torpedoes, and now he's on top of the Yamato. He's who's going to get the starboard rack. That's so what I'm waiting for. Them off. Uh, he hasn't gotten them off yet. They must be disabled. There they go. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yamato's going to take. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, he's getting them all off there. I don't think it's going to be enough to kill the Yemi. I might be. He's going to land. He's, he's going to land turn five of them to the Ohio. He's going to land four Salvo. of them. And oh finish the my deal. goodness! Just the deal right there, ladies. Billy's going to give up his ship, but what an amazing trade! He kills the Salem. He forces a horrible choice on the Yamato. He's going to beat up the Shimakaze. 
Yeah, he goes down, but what a great trade for Salsa, Zath. Absolutely. That was brilliant. We saw that coming. Great job by that Marceau player. With the Ohio communication, backing them up. Loved it. That's an execution right there, folks. Ten minutes gone. Both teams ticking up one cap, but a 300-point lead for Salsa on the strength of their decisive um, ship engagements, let's say. Because now, mm -hmm. Yeti's Des Moines mm -hmm. has moved up and has the Shimikaze that's Horizon under radar and is going to put him off the board. And there he goes. There he goes. Yep, Just yep, like yep. that, Salsa in total control of the sea cap. No surviving CAG ships over here. And CAG definitely on the back foot now. So CAG turned around and they tried to be aggressive up that line. Oh, Fumi! Fumi just going down! That would have been a dev strike if that was a normal Where battle. was he? Oh, <laughs> on the north end of the cap. Yeah, he was holding yeah. back that cap, but um, not anymore. Ohio. That Ohio, Ohio. just took him, just, just, just cleaned yep. him out. There was ping, the ping, shot. Ping, boom. Yep. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, Cag not out yet, despite, again, being kind of on the back foot here. The Conga line Torps yeah, going in for danger. Look, uh, Dargaro's Moskva here. Look at B. Look at B. Oh, this yeah. This is where that decision to take that torpedo is going to bite Leviathan in the butt. He's going yeah, down right Yeah, he's going here. out That's right there. About it. Conga line Torps are. He's going to land some on the Moskva. Just the one, maybe? Just the one, but narrow misses. One. Woo! Mm -hmm. Dargio, Dargio sneaks through. And just like that, CAG is back in the game within a within within a point. Sorry, within a uh, ship now, down on points, mm -hmm. but um, n very much in the game in terms of health. Well, I say that uh, as Northern Northern Strangler uh, gets slapped by uh, Moskva AP. I Fact? think that was actually Montana. Maybe was it Moskva? Yeah, it was Mon. No, it was the Monty because the Moskva shells just bounced off his belt. That was the Monty salvo. You're and right. that's what I was just about to say is that Northern is is surrounded on all sides. Yeah, and he's just getting hammered. He's going down. It's just a matter of time. But Dargio is also He's going, down, going too. down, too. Yeah. Feels like Salsa may be making some kind of late mistakes here. They're letting CAG back into this game a little bit. They're only one ship up, and CAG now yeah. sitting on two caps. Salsa. Well, the problem for, for Salsa... Go ahead. ...is in order to get the sea cap, they, they put significant assets over there. They got three ships over there, kind of on the nine line. They're so far away now. We talked about this before with Islands of Ice. When you, when you put so much effort there, you, you're so far out of the battle. It's it's up to these two remaining Salsa players to just get the heck out of there. Yeah, it really they, they is because run. it's like them against the... Basically, there's four surviving CAG ships. They are all yeah. able to put shells on the, the two Salsa ships on the western half of the map who have no support available at all from the three surviving Salsa ships that are all still sitting in the sea cap. Yep, Basilisk waiting a little bit for that smoke, most likely because of radar. Yep, he is finally healing Nevsky. now. But he's able to make Inky and uh, break that connection. So he's just going to run away. Mm. Seven, seven, six. Seven mm. getting a good hit and in there Eddie. on the Nevsky. If I'm seven, I'm still, I still don't feel horrible about this engagement. Yeah, it's a Des Moines and a Nevsky crawling up my stern. But I really feel, I would feel like, especially with the torpedoes coming in now, you're going to be able to constrict their movements and probably get some good hits in. Right there's another good one. Like that one. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, I mean, you're absolutely correct. Seven really only has torpedo threat from the Nevsky and maybe that Ohio, but he's so far back, he doesn't have to worry about his position. There's the Torps. And there's the, and there's the kill. There's the kill. A very big, a very impactful kill for Salsa. They need to take as many mm -hmm. CAG ships off the board as they can while they have a yep. lead. But his, his whole point is to slow the team down so that his buddy can get away. But look at Basilisk. He went back in and got he, himself detected he again. Did. That's he's a big a, mistake. Yeah, he's in a gunfight now with Omi's daring. And I presume his smoke isn't down or he isn't, isn't available. He probably used it's, it already. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. Oh, there gone. it is. But it's too bye. late. It's too bye. late. Bye bye. So once bye -bye. again, a little bit of a salsa misplay. Let's CAG just creep back that much closer into the game. We, I see this so many times in randoms and ranked. Guys, if you're a low health destroyer, the last thing you want to do is go right back into the fray of things and get yourself killed. Indeed. Stay back, let your heals come back, or at least find a friend that can protect you. Now, then go in with your friend. Seven's going to have a much tougher time dealing with Broncos Des Moines, I think, than he did with the Nevsky because Des Moines has better bow armor. He's finally he's getting a heal off now. That's going to keep him in the fight a little longer. CAG has closed to nearly within 100 points. In fact, where it's about to be almost 100 points behind. 
and they're going to gain a decent chunk when seven goes down, and he will go down here in moments. Right. Um, now he, the, the Des Moines might have a little bit stronger bow armor, but he still can get overmatched oh, by no, he that can, Montana. Absolutely, six. absolutely. Okay. And there it is. Cag yep. takes their first lead of the game now with five minutes to play. Both teams with three what, surviving ships. What a bloodbath! Now by this point, by this point, the sea forces have now gotten to the position where they can help. They can indeed. They're spotted. Andy knows where those ships are. The Ohio's spotter plane catching a glimpse of both of them now. Losing sight of the Des Moines. Omi dumping torpedoes in that direction, hoping for a hit. As now the B-cap is contested, and on a 12 or a 4, it's a 14-point lead for CAG. Both Oof. teams are ticking up a single cap with four and a half minutes to play. This is about as close as it gets in King of the Sea, ladies and gentlemen. I, You know, we don't normally see games this close on day one, Zath. I'm excited. This That's is a great game. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. I'm about to have some dirty water here. <laughs> <laughs> now, who's the Des Moines up here? This is Bronco, right? Yes. Bronco yes. now lit by the Venezia. He can't afford to take too much damage. It's going to be an SAP salvo. It is. Going to uh, catch him. There's Ohio. There's going to hit him. Shells Makes him turn. Ohio, Ohio shells, shells coming inbound. in. Oh, at least one <laughs> big Citadel right there. Bronco in trouble. He's dark again. He needs to stay dark while he heals. Again, with, with the 14-point the, the lead remains under four minutes to play now. It really is on Salsa. They have to make something happen, Zaf. Oh, yes. They, and it looks like it's going to come down to Sorcier's Ohio as he's going to push around the bottom end of this island. They can finally see Andy. Venezia has got eyes on him from all the way up north. Where's some now, daring torpedoes? Yeti. You need some daring torpedoes into this gap. I'm sure Yeti wants to come out right now, but he can't because look at the Ohio's turrets looking no. right yeah. at that Andy, Des position. Andy knows exactly where that where that guy is. They're waiting for that shot, but he's gonna he's gonna have to get engaged with Sorcier now. Sorcier right. has almost a, basically a two to one health advantage. Pro tip for any of you aspiring clan battles or King of the Sea players: if you die on your team, what you do is you go and you spectate. Your, oh, see, look at Yeti. Oh, look at he's Yeti. did it. Look at this. Oh, Yeti no, came out. No, Why did you no. do that? No, oh, big mistake, Yeti, big mistake. huge mistake big there. Mistake, Takes mistake. half his surviving HP. He's still he coming out. He's not that. going back. Well, it's too late. It's too late. He's already come oh, out. Oh, no. This is disaster. I'm this is yet out. another bit of salsa like over aggression may yet cost them the game. He does. He goes. Look at that. Cag now up a ship. So. As I was saying, guys, if your team, if you die, what you do is you go and you spectate the ship, the battleship especially, and you tell your team where the turrets are pointed, okay? Andy should have been spectated by somebody on Team Salsa, and it should have told their, that their Des Moines player, those guns are looking right at you. Now is when he comes out. Now is when he comes out because they're, he can help because Andy is distracted. Yeah, they're going to get Andy, but in the end, it's not going to matter. Mm. His impact has already been made. He's killed the Des Moines, and now Sorcier is going to try and linger in the cap, but the daring is just going to keep resetting him all day long. As long as he's detected. As, now, as long as he's spotted. About, another 10 seconds or so. There he goes. He goes dark. Okay. So let's see what happens here. Nine, we're getting all down to 90 seconds. This this could still... Salsa could still potentially pull yes. this out if no, they can nope, flip nope. the cap in time. Out. Okay. Omi comes out. Omi, Omi detects, comes out. Bronco and, resets. Exactly. He's Omi's now going to play spotter for Bronco to reset. The Ohio's taking a blind shot. Bronco is not lit. <laughs> they have no idea. Well, they suspect that they know. He does get an overpin. Mm -hmm. But now it's on Bronco to keep managing the resets. On a 14-point lead, 70 seconds left to play. They have to keep this guy lit just long enough, uh, reset just long enough to prevent him from capping. If yep. he caps... Going up, that's... Oh, they can see Bronco now. Yep, yeah, here come yeah, Ohio okay. shells. Oh! oh they get the kill! That's huge! That's it! They get the damn kill! They get the kill with less than 60 seconds. Now it doesn't matter. Oh my god, the game-winning kill right there! Omi has to kill something to win the game, and it's not going to happen. He's now and, down and, on 4,000 HP. The Nets wow. just goes, slap, slap. You know, Salsa like, just, that's it, Salsa that's just, it. Salsa absolutely determined to find a way to pitch this game, and yet, 
They're going to win, Zach. They're going to win. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Game of Thrones. Oh welcome to King. Welcome to King of the Sea, ladies wow. and gentlemen. Wow, what a game! Are you not entertained? Oh, what my a game! God, holy what cow! What a battle! What a battle! Time ticking away. Just, Ten seconds left, but it's not going to matter. Salsa's going to win this game and get their that critical third win they need. Oh, wow, what a result! What a battle. Yikes. Who could have expected who could have expected that that clutch shot, both clutch shots from the yeah. Ohio's. Yeah. Um, both Ohio's having games here, Zath. So uh that's Salsa that won. Salsa won that game, sir. Green team won that game. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. What? Okay. What a game. What a game. Okay. 